Sir Isaac Newton revolutionized the field of physics in the 1600s. He did so by defining three physical laws of how an object will move based on the forces applied to it. To help demonstrate, we're going to use one of AstroCamp's own bottle rockets. You ready? Let's check it out. Newton's first law states this. An object will remain at rest or at a constant velocity until it is acted upon by an outside force. So if I take this rocket and stand it up, it'll stay like this. Forever. Until some outside force knocks it over. Likewise, if I slide it across the table, if not for friction, the rocket would continue sliding in the same direction at the same speed forever. The second law says this. The sum of all the forces on an object are equal to that object's mass multiplied by its acceleration. More simply put, we have our rocket, and we can build it to have a large or a small mass. If it has a large mass, we're going to need more force to accelerate it at the same rate as if we had a smaller mass rocket. And if the forces are constant, then a larger mass rocket will simply accelerate slower. And finally, Newton's third law states, for every force, there is an equal force in the opposite direction. For example, when our rocket exerts a force downwards by ejecting its fuel, the equal and opposite reaction shoots our rocket upwards, like this. These three laws create the building blocks for classical physics. Without them, we'd have a much more difficult time understanding our universe. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about Sir Isaac Newton, I wrote a blog about him, and I'll include a link in the doobly-doo below. See you next time.